Hi, my name is Kyle Chen. I'm a junior at Women High School. I'm 17 years old, and I take piano lessons here at Indian Hill Music School with Miss Neva Freed. All right, so there's actually kind of a funny story here. Um, when I was six years old, my mom took piano lessons, and I was, you know, I was a six-year-old kid. I'd be bouncing around on the couch while she was having her lesson. And then one weekend, I think she got annoyed with me, and she's like, Kyle, get out of, get out of here. Go find something to do. So I think the thought kind of just occurred to me when she said that. I was like, you know, if my mom's taking piano lessons, why can't I do so as well? So literally that same afternoon, I asked her, I was like, Mom, can I start piano lessons? She started me with her teacher, and I've been doing piano ever since. <laughs> So I think it was a couple years in, after I think I was around eight or nine years old, I had just really started with Neva and I started to find out that I cared more about music because I think when I first started, I switched around, I had a bunch of different teachers. I, th I wouldn't say I didn't care about music. I enjoyed music a lot, but I didn't really think of it as part of who I was up until I started learning with Neva. And I think that my experience with her has really helped shape that aspect of me, helped make music part of who I am and make it part of my identity. One thing that Neva really did that was great was she helped expand my horizons as a musician, less just as a, as a, as a pianist. So I wasn't just learning how to play the piano. I was learning more than just that. I was learning how to read music. I was learning, you know, what was the structure behind the music that I was playing. And I think that that really helped me broaden my horizons. So under Neva, I'd say that I, I basically, I started learning a lot more aspects of classical music than I had done before. Outside of music, I would say I am a writer. I am on my um, the, the school. My school has a um, student publication called Wayland Student Press Network. I'm the opinions editor there, and I also was a copy editor for the past two years. I'm also a runner. I run on my school's cross country and track and field teams, and I also like to ski. I'm, I was on my school's um, downhill alpine skiing team this past winter. So. So I actually listen to a wide variety of music. I don't just listen to classical music, but I, I do have classical music on my playlist. There's a piano sonata by Leo Janacek. Uh, he's a, um, a composer from the, uh, the 1900s that I really enjoy. There's a, there's a song by Chance the Rapper called the Juke Jam that's on my playlist. It's a great, it's a great song. I, lo I love Ed Sheeran. You know, his, his new one, Cross Me is good. And I also listen to some, I listen to some jazz. I listen to some rap. You know, I have a pretty, pretty big, pretty big variety on my playlist. In terms of the near future, I would hope to pursue a double degree in possibly, you know, music, piano performance, and then maybe something, something academic. I, I like writing, so I think English, some, something along those, those lines. I think just going to a dual program, seeing how, how I can, you know, manage both studying while also maintaining my music studies and just seeing where that takes me from now. So one thing about Indian Hill that I think is absolutely fantastic and that you can't really find anywhere else is the sense of community. Um, I really, really cannot stress enough how supportive everyone here is. Overall, the, the one word I think of when I think of Indian Hill is community because everyone works together and everyone collaborates really well and you have really, really, really great support base. And Indian Hill is really my home for music because it's where I've started and it's where I've been my whole music career. So.